Now, we have talked about a lot of things, and I haven't done many exercises with you with a metronome because they're beginning, beginning exercises, and sometimes too much going on can get really complicated. But I don't want to leave out how important it is to learn to play with the metronome. Now, one of the things that I do with my students to start with to get them used to playing with a metronome is to sort of kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. Let's work on your scales with the help of the metronome. So we get used to it. And we get used to playing our scales in a rhythmic pattern um, as we learn them. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go through um, a series of scales Play, or, or a scale, playing them in quarter notes, along with the metronome, and in eighth notes, and then in sixteenth notes, stay, making sure that I stay in sync with the metronome. Wish me luck. Quarter notes. <laughs> Now I'm going to play two scales in quarter notes. First I'm going to play the G scale and then the D scale, staying with the metronome the whole time. In quarter notes. One, two, ready? metronome be your friend and not your enemy when you're working on we're working on passages that are quick um, and we need to build speed up to them the best way is to use a metronome use a metronome and as much as you're playing that as makes sense thank you ever so much do we see you again keep playing